Hey guys, what's up? I am back at my parents' house getting ready to do rehearsal, this time with my laptop for the first time. So we're going to try something a little bit different. I've been doing it with my iPad and that's been working fine, but I can't rely on that because the place may or may not have Wi-Fi. So I'm working on a different way of doing it where I download the karaoke tracks to my computer and then do it that way. So anyway, I'm going to rehearse for a little bit. Whoops. All right, let's try that again. Yeah, echo, 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 echo. Marry you, karaoke, Bruno Mars. Ooh, hey, baby, I think I wanna marry you. And that, my friends, is why we call it practice. On in the key that our souls were singing as we dance in the night. Remember, Maria, so do you remember? Um, the way you make me feel, I guess. The way you make me feel. <laughs> Let's try, um, hey baby, maybe, hey baby, maybe, 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 maybe. Ooh. How about, um, dear. dear future husband karaoke. Dear future husband, here's a few things you need to know if Take me on a date, I deserve a babe And don't forget the flowers every anniversary Dear future husband, here's a few things you need to know If you wanna be my one and only all my life Bed romance karaoke. I'm so over rehearsing, but I have to rehearse. Let's rehearse. Want your bed romance? I want your ugly. I want your disease. You know that I want you. And you know that I need you. I want the bad, your bad romance. Let's walk, walk, fashion, baby, work it, move that bitch crazy. Walk, walk, fashion, baby, work it, move that bitch crazy. Want your bad romance? Want your bad romance? So, that concludes my rehearsal for tonight. I'm tired. It's 8.31. I work today and then I gotta go home clean a little bit not too much but I think I put my dishes away anyway um, rehearsal went okay I should probably do more but it's 8 30 and I don't want to disturb the neighbors too much on a Tuesday evening so that's it for now thanks for watching good morning welcome back to Cantwell Beauty not sure what this was where do I begin I want to vlog again 
my last vlog was last weekend and a lot of stuff is going on right now so I just want to kind of fill everybody in um, this channel is a beauty channel it's a music channel it's a lifestyle channel it's all of the above so if you like that kind of stuff subscribe hit the like button do all that kind of stuff anyway I'm Sierra and welcome to my channel and right now I am getting ready to go just hang out with my friend um, we're not really doing much we're just gonna hang maybe do some devotionals do some praying you know fun things like that I want to do a, a light makeup look because I like to wear makeup um, I also have to go to CVS I have to go to Dollar Tree I have to go food shopping I have to like do a bunch of stuff today I just got out of the shower as you might be able to tell I'm just gonna kind of do my makeup really quick do my hair and head out the door I never know how to do transitions I'm like come along come on next thing blah 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 I, I don't know yeah stay tuned I guess I don't know all right I'm gonna do my makeup really quick um i'm really excited because i got the new house labs foundation i opted to get color 100 light neutral what i did first was i actually got the discovery set which is they send you it's really cool they send you three colors that they think you might be so you like select it you go on the website and you select like whether you're light medium dark deep or whatever and then they send you like a little box and inside is like information to find your match. They tell you about the colors a little bit. Then they have like a whole color strip of like, in case we didn't send you the color you want. And then they send you three little bottles here of the foundation. And I did use a lot of this already. So I opted to buy the foundation. Um, I'm very excited about it because it's probably the best foundation I've tried in a long time, if not my favorite. Um, and a lot of that does have to do with the color match. I realize that. I just want to do a light makeup look today. I don't want to do anything too crazy because I don't know really what my plans are. I know I'm going food shopping, so I don't want to be like full glam. I say that now, then I'll do full glam. I'm quite sure. I want to do a light makeup look. I've been doing a lot of House Labs products because I'm just a Gaga fan. So I'm going to use the Love for Sale palette, which came out a while back. Rest in peace, Tony Bennett. This is the album that they did. The second album they did, I believe is called Love for Sale. So I'm going to do, um, or it's, is it a song or the whole album? Now I have to look it up. Yeah, it's the whole album. That's what I thought. Okay. So then she, she made a palette to go like along with the album. Um, it's a great album. I just haven't listened to it in quite some time. Jazz is like fun for me to listen to. Um, and good, it's good practice to like learn jazz songs for me because jazz is harder just in general to sing. Uh, it's not like a style that I listen to on the reg. So just gonna do a little eyeshadow look here. Um, I just used the Milani eyeshadow primer. I should probably get more of this actually because I'm running low. Um, I'm gonna put it on my list here. I have to get mascara when I go out. I have to get conditioner when I go out. I don't know if they're going to have eyeshadow primer. That kind anyway. As long as I get something. I mean, I still have some left, so it's not like a huge deal. But So yeah, today I am... Well, first of all, let me start with last night. Last night, um, I ended up going out with my friend Danny. He has his own production company. And he's doing a, um, a singing contest that I'm auditioning for. I have a special audition spot in about a month. It's on September 24th. I'm doing in-person auditions, so I'm really excited. I've been prepping for that. I have to pick two songs, uh, 60 seconds each, um, to show my greatest vocal ability, which can go either way, really. You can either do, like, something really... Like, I could do something soft, like Adele. I could do... So and by soft, I mean she does soft songs. She does harder songs as well. Um, I was thinking, like, I don't know, Remedy by Adele or Impossible by Christina Aguilera. Because I think they show range. And I think it would be, like, a good... But it, I think it would show range. And it would show, like, I can do chill music. And I can also do, like bluesy really bluesy and bite into a song so i think it would be good to do both of those but we'll see i still have a month to decide still have a month which is not a lot of time for me to memorize lyrics so i went out last night to karaoke it was really fun i ended up doing three songs i did what i do first um i did something's got a hold on me the christina aguilera version it's a, originally an etta james song but um i did the Christina Aguilera version, I think. Now that I think about it, maybe it was the Etta James version. Can't really tell because karaoke's the same and Christina Aguilera did it pretty true to the original version. But anyway, it's a great song. She did it in burlesque, Christina Aguilera. But uh, 
And then I did Respect by Aretha Franklin, which was super fun. Uh, the crowd really liked that one. And then I did uh, Vision of Love by Mariah Carey, which was, I guess, okay. I'm not really sure. I'll put in some clips here if it was good. <laughs> I haven't watched it back yet. My friend Danny filmed it for me and it was quite funny. Some of the people in the audience were giving me looks and stuff. It was, it was great. It was fun though. Great crowd. Every singer was super into it, which you don't experience everywhere. I know with karaoke, sometimes people are just kind of, you know, going through the motions or they're drunk or whatever, but this place was like really cool. Bartender was super cool. The place was, was fun. It's up in Phoenixville where, where the place was. We are going to go back probably another Friday and check it out. But yeah, it was fun. Um, all right, that's it for my eyeshadow. It's going to take me eight years if I keep talking and doing eyeshadow at the same time. So I need to get mascara. I have all these like sample mascaras that I had gotten like over the years. So I've literally been like going through my sample collection because and but the, most of them are dried out because I've had them for so long. So I need to buy myself a new mascara. My favorite mascara, if you've been on this channel at any length of time, is the Benefit Roller Lash. No mascara to me compares to that mascara it lengthens it doesn't thicken like that much but i'm not into that i like them to be like long and like voluminous um which it does for me um i know elf tried to like rip it off by having something called like the big big something big lash or i don't know i don't think the elf one comes close but i get it it's six dollars i'll probably end up buying something similar to that why do i make the mascara face right now i'm using the milk Kush mascara, the little sample thingy. I think it's just in black or black is black or whatever. Ooh. I have to warm up like almost every day, like do little warm ups and stuff like that every day because I can hear that my voice has like a little bit of a, like a fry to it because I was out late singing. I think I sang my last song around, I don't know, 11.30, which means I was doing five hours of singing. Not straight through, obviously, but like I started warming up around 6.30 and then I was done singing at 11.30. Mascara looks pretty cute. That is the, again, the Milk Kush Mascara. I don't have the full size. It's probably like $30, which is fine. I get it. Everything's gone up, but I'll probably end up buying um, the Essence Mascara today at CVS because that's a cheap, good one. The green bottle, I can't remember if it's the waterproof or not, but anywho, I don't know if you're supposed to shake this or not, but oh yeah, it literally says shake well before use. I don't think I've been shaking it before using it. I wonder if it works even better now. <laughs> but typically I use um, a little palette to use to put my foundation on. I clean my palette every day and then I use like this little mixing thing if I have to. The thing that I like about this foundation besides the wear is the bottle is super heavy and luxe, um, which is nice. It's like frosted glass. Silver cap here um, like isn't like easy to get, come off, which is good if you're traveling and you want to take this. Hopefully in the future they make like a travel version of it, maybe like a little like one of these Johns. So like you can travel with a bunch of them because I know makeup artists probably want to use it because it's a really good foundation. So I just put it on my palette. I put like three pumps, which is a lot, I know. And then I use a brush. This is a dirty brush. I use a dirty brush. No, I'm kidding. To apply, I want to put some primer on today. Oh, I didn't use sunscreen yet. Ooh. Let's put sunscreen on all over the place. Sunscreen. I got this sunscreen at Giant because I was like, oh, I really need sunscreen and I didn't feel like going anywhere else. I like it. I think it works because I haven't gotten any kind of tan or anything like that. It's called Clear Face Won't Clog Pores Face Serum by Neutrogena. And it says it's fragrance free. I mean, there's a slight sunscreen fragrance, but I feel like they can't get rid of that because it's sunscreen, but it's 60 plus with green tea. I didn't even notice it said with green tea, but, but yeah, it works really well. I think, um, under makeup, it does not break me out. Um, it's been really good so far. I'm actually probably not going to wear a primer today. I'm going to opt not to, I was thinking about it, but then I'm like, I do it without it. So it's fine. So I just paint it on, as you can see, this color is a little light. It looks a lot lighter in the camera than it, it does in real life. I promise. I think it's just the lighting in here. I'm right in front of an open window, so that's why. Anyway, I use a lot of it. You don't have to. It's like pretty full coverage, but, um, well, it's not 
full coverage, I guess. I guess it's medium to full, but I really love this foundation. I think it looks really good. It blends really nicely. This is a dirty brush, so it's probably not helping the cause, but I promise you it's actually a really good foundation. Gaga wears this on stage, so to me. I, I went to the Phillies game. Um, a couple weeks ago and I wore this foundation when I had the little samples and I'm telling you right now it was 88 degrees outside that day and I wore that foundation this foundation and I looked fine when I left I was expecting my face to be melted off and my the rest of my stuff kind of was like my eyeshadow I didn't really wear like a, a ton of makeup because it was a sports game I mean let's get real my face stayed intact like it was pretty good I'm just gonna use a beauty blender. This is clean, it's just stained. And I'm just gonna blend that in. This is not a tutorial. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Although you can see what I'm doing. Got up early today. I uh, got up around 8.15, I think. Yeah, made a cup of coffee. I ended up falling back asleep because I was out until 1 a.m. So that's late for me. That's like way past my bedtime, like for real. Especially on a Friday, because I'm usually exhausted from working all week, but stayed out late and then like I said I woke up around 8 15 made myself a nice omelet with onions spinach mushrooms and cheese and yeah some blueberries it was delish delightful so the only issue I'm having with this foundation is that I don't really have so as you can see um it looks like I'm not even wearing foundation like if you ask me it's pretty good but I am I'm wearing quite a bit now there's still some left on my palette but that's okay I'll deal with that you know it's fine it just means I use too much I'm just, but I don't know if you can do half a pump like I don't know if it's that kind of foundation I haven't tested yet to be like boop, boop. anyway back to the concealer so when I use concealers I have like all these concealers but I don't know if any are light enough to like go with this foundation because the foundation is finally my actual shade like I guess I used to wear foundations that were like too dark for me what I've been doing is like putting my color corrector on so I have this elf color corrector in peach so I do a little bit of that where I need it which is my bags my Gucci bags under my eyes and I just blend it in a little bit because it's supposed to color correct so you're supposed to leave the color there some people blend it all the way in but that defeats the purpose so you're supposed to leave a little bit of it on because it's it neutralizes the color as you can see, it's not as blue under my eyes anymore. And then I have a bunch of concealers. So I've got this L'Oreal Infallible. I've got this Koki one. I've got Rare Beauty, which is old. Cover Girl, Heart Shape Tape, which is old. And Anastasia Beverly Hills. I feel like the Anastasia one is dark. Yeah, it's kind of dark. Um, I got it like in an Ipsy bag, so they don't know what shade I am. I'm gonna go today with the L'Oreal one in Cashmere. It's a little bit darker than I would like, but it's all right. And I just do a little bit like that. It's actually probably more than I need but that's okay and then what I've been doing is blending it in with my finger um because I just think it it leaves the coverage I've noticed I use a lot less concealer that way than using like a sponge because a sponge sops up some of the the concealer so I'm probably rubbing my eye way too much but listen I guess I should be tapping tap 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 and I should be tapping with this finger tap 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 but I gotta blend it in you know what I mean so I'm gonna use a sponge a little bit okay all right, and then I'm gonna do, this is my typical makeup routine. Like I switch up the eye look a little bit, but as far as like the makeup part of it, um, it's pretty much the same. Then I use the KKW Beauty. I use this under eye brightener, which is one brighten. I don't have any left. She better come back with this specific product because this is my favorite under eye brightening thing to set under eyes. I think it works the best. Like I don't get crepey under eyes when I use this. I've been using it a lot more recently. I just hit pan on it like a little while ago. I'm kind of devastated. So um, they better come back with this. I know she's supposed to be coming back with KKW Beauty, but I'm guessing it'll be KK Beauty. I don't know. This is under eye brightener, I know, but I like to brighten up my nose and like right here too. And it sets really well. It's like a good setting powder. All right, do I want to set my whole face? Sometimes I opt not to set my face because I'm like not taking pictures or doing anything, so, but I think I will. I'm gonna use the KVD um, translucent powder to just set. I'm gonna use the same brush, just the little doohickey, and just put a little bit of powder, just a little light, light. Cause this foundation's so nice, I hate to like cake it on, you know? Like it doesn't need it. The foundation just is so pretty by itself. My brows are wild today. 
wild. I'm going to do my brow, not my brows. I'm going to do my brows last. I basically do my brows last because I don't want to screw up my brows. I never want to screw up my brows. I always do bronzer and blush first because uh, it's just better that way for me anyway. Um, all right, so I'm using the Milani Silky Matte Suntan Bronzer and I use this to like contour. I don't care because um, it's kind of kind of grayish. I mean, it's, it's really neutral to me. I don't think it's that warm i mean i guess it is but bronzer helmet it's really bronze it looks very bronzed in the camera it's not that bronzed in person i promise or maybe it's more bronzed in person i don't know all right i've been using these from the kathleen lights color pop collection because like they're beautiful and i haven't used them a lot in like years they came out years ago it's my sun and stars is the pinky one and then the orange one is so retrograde and i don't I don't know which one to use. I guess the pink one for today because I have this pink shirt on. So even though my eyeshadow is kind of, maybe I'll blend them both. I'm using the It Cosmetics blush brush that I've had for a million years. A million years. I need to wash my brushes at some point. I think I did a couple weeks ago. I should be washing them every week. But I have so many brushes that like I really should just rotate them, which is probably what I'll do this week. All right, so on to brows. I don't want to do too dark of a brow look. I love that I was like, oh, I'm not going to do full glam. I mean, this is basically a glam look. Even though my eyeshadow is not really glam, it's more matte and like chill. I did a full face of makeup, but can't help it. I don't like wearing just like light stuff. I don't know. Like I can't, I don't do like just concealer looks anymore. I used to do just like concealer and run out the door. And like, I don't know, it's just not fun. Like I love doing makeup. So, so I'm not sure why, but my camera just cut off. So I just want to finish my makeup and then show you guys the final makeup look. Cause that's super annoying. I'm filming this on my phone now, which is whatever. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow, what's this called? Brow pomade, dip brow pom pomade in dark brown. To just finish my brows here. Ooh, friggity ooh. And then I'm using the REM Beauty brow, what's this called? Clear brow gel. I don't know how to use this thing. It's got this like weird, like pillow thing at the top. And then it's got the, I don't know. I, I just, sometimes I go like this run my and then i go like this like i don't know what i'm supposed to do i haven't seen ariana use it like i didn't watch any tutorials so i have no freaking clue i just somehow get the product onto my brow and just call it a day you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying I need to spray with mac fix plus i'm so used to the mac fix plus smell that like i didn't even realize it had a smell like people were like Oh, I love the smell of Max Fix Plus and I blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it doesn't even have a smell. Like I remember literally thinking, it doesn't have a smell. What are they talking about? And now I smell it because I don't use it all the time. So I don't know if it was just back in the day. I didn't notice it or something. I don't know. Leaving my hair curly today because that's the vibe. Um, I'm not sure what lip to do. Kind of want to do a pink lip. I want to do maybe this Revlon in So Sleek Pink, the shine, the Revlon shine things. cute yeah that's the whole look what do we think do we like the makeup look i think so it came out cute anyway my bed is actually made in the background can you believe that that's my journal sitting there i am going to continue to vlog throughout this day hopefully i remember that i'm vlogging super awesome content creator hope you enjoyed my little get ready with me and yeah continue on keep watching here i go off with my day Okay, so I'm back from my friend Kim's. I went in the pool. I, well, no I didn't. I went by the pool <laughs> and uh, we had lunch and it was lovely. We made chicken Caesar salads. Uh, we just air fried the chicken, put it in a salad with some croutons and cheese. It was delightful. Uh, we had popcorn as an appetizer and some cookies, some unicorn cookies afterwards. They were delicious. Um, right now I'm gonna show you the cute stuff that my friend Kim, my friend Kim is wonderful. She's a delightful soul. She got me some cute gifts and I just wanted to show you what she got me. This is the bag that she got me, which I think is so cute. Then she got me some fall related things, which I think are hella cute. Let me try to angle this better. There we go, a little bit better. So she got me this home sign, which is so cute. It's for the fall. I realize it's only like August 19th when I'm filming this, but this is super cute home and she got me a little sign that says thankful it's a tabletop decor you can see it says thankful on it and it's very fall oriented then she got me this cute little pumpkin thingy 
which I think is hella cute. I can hang it up. It's pumpkin outline, see? Aw. Then I got this one, which is a little acorn. So cute. Then she got me some pumpkins that I can throw in a bowl, she said, which is a cute idea to just put like on top of my, my table there. So cute. Then she showed me this. I'm doing it kind of in the order that she showed me everything. This one says, be blessed, be thankful, which I think is hella cute. It's little pumpkins. Gotta love that. Then she got me these all you need is love sticky notes, which I mean, who doesn't need cute sticky notes? A little pen that says all you need is love. I'll be using this immediately. It's a multicolor pen, my favorite kind. Then I got eraser hearts. I mean, how cute are these four pieces? And she got me the love never fails magnet, which is super cute. I think I've said cute about a hundred times, but that's okay. Okay, then she said, what's that holiday they celebrate? And I said, Dia de los Muertos. And she goes, yes. How exciting. I don't have this one. I have other ones from last year that I will definitely show you at some point in the fall, but this one's so cute. Then she got me this scarf, which has the skulls, the sugar skulls on it, which I will be rocking in the fall big time. Woohoo! And she got me these things, garland, with the sugar skulls on them. And the last thing was this hat and sugar skulls uh, hangy thing, which I have one of these, but they're, it doesn't have the hats on it. So this is a different one than last year. Yeah, this one's really cool too. Love it. And that's it on in the bag. And then um, she showed me this cool thing that she has. That's like a Bible verse Psalms um, sticker book thing. Basically, you take little stickers and you put them on each little place like this is E1, E2, E3, E4, like each little color that you see here is like a sticker. So on um, this one is Psalm 139, 14. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139 is my favorite Psalm. So I figured it was appropriate for me to try this one. But isn't that cool? Yeah, it's just like a sticker thing. And then you can take off the top, obviously. So it looks a little bit prettier. Um, I might even frame it and put it on my wall in my bedroom because I think it's pretty. And it will remind me of my lovely afternoon with my friend Kim. Very cute. So, yeah. So I definitely turned the camera off without remembering to show you what I got at CVS. So I went to CVS to pick up my medications and then I had to get conditioner. So I had a 15% off coupon that I got um, when I got my medication. I got like a receipt or whatever and they always have coupons. So I got this Triple Nutrition Garnier Fructis. They were buy one, get one 50% off, I think. And these were like $4.79, which is a lot to spend for a conditioner, but it smells really good. I always like Garnier and I like to switch it up a little bit because I've been using like the Dollar Tree shampoo and conditioner for like months. So I figured, you know, I'll treat myself to some nicer conditioner. So then I got um, the eyeshadow primer that I said I was hoping they would have. This was the last one they had at the CVS. So I'm excited about that. I'll just use it, you know, every day with my eyeshadow. Then I got a mascara. I needed a mascara. I'm really hoping this is good because um, I need a mascara right now. And so it's called Big Mood by e.l.f. I'm sure you guys have seen it, but the brush I'm not thrilled about, but I'm hoping the formula is good. So it's like a fluffy brush or whatever. I prefer the ones like the Benefit has, which is the like plastic one, but they didn't have any of those. So whatever. And then I got a very necessary purchase, which is 72% um, cacao dark chocolate, two bars. I think it was buy one, get one free or buy one, get one for a dollar or something. It was buy one, get one, BOGO something. Um, so anyway, that was pretty much all I did today. Um, I went over to my parents and did some laundry, so I'll probably um, do that now. I'll put my laundry away. And then I've got to eat dinner at some point. Yeah. separate out my laundry first uh, on my bed like into piles does everybody do that I don't know towels pants shirts underwear and then I grab hangers then I hang up the shirts then I hang up the pants then I put my towels away then I put my underwear away like you know in, not in that order necessarily but you know you understand me so right now I'm trying to decide on dinner I think what I've landed on 
is uh, shells, I guess, pasta, something cheap and easy. Um, I am going to probably make it with Alfredo. I think that's what I have, either that or vodka sauce. Probably Alfredo because they're better on shells, I feel like. Yeah, other than that, I got to do dishes. I just finished my laundry. I've got a sink full of dishes, which is par for the course for me. And yeah, I'm going to make myself another cup of coffee. I use um, my coffee. My coffee order is like a pump and a half. Two pumps is fine of this zero calorie, zero sugar uh, vanilla syrup, as well as almond milk, just a little bit of almond milk uh, in coffee. So yeah, typically I'll start my day off with one of these Chamberlain coffee. Um, I just put it in like a refillable little K-cup thingy here. And then for the rest of the day, just cause it's easier, I do K-cups like these kind like throwaway things. So that's what I'm doing right now. Yes, it is 6.42 and I'm having a cup of coffee. Getting crazy on a Saturday night. And I'm watching some YouTube. Right now I'm watching Kiki Meets World, which is Kiki Chanel's vlog channel. Enjoying my night off. used to this kind of coffee anymore because I've been drinking black coffee every day so I figured I would wait and leave like a special flavored coffees for the weekend that's what I'm doing waiting for my water to boil I could put a top on it but it looks like it's already boiling almost um, I want to cook some broccoli too to throw in there so I really got to move fast here I'm gonna use this Francesco Rinaldi sauce which is I mean it's okay it's not great um, and some Parmesan cheese some broccoli cooking up some broccoli cutting up some broccoli I like simple meals. I mean, I can cook, but I like simple stuff like this because it takes all of two seconds and it's nutritional and delicious. Let's not forget delicious. I'm gonna cook all this broccoli because I'm gonna, I cooked enough pasta. I'm gonna cook enough pasta for leftovers. So I wanna have enough broccoli to go with my leftovers. So also I've been keeping these because these are delicious, like the ends of the broccoli and putting them into like when I cook broccoli, most people just cook like the crowns, but oh no, 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 no. There's like special taste in there and they're delicious. I do cut off like the very ends, but like the delicious centers. Oh, it's so good. So for that, I think my water's boiling. Threw my pasta into my water, which you know what that looks like. So I don't really need to show you, but. I guess for content and vlogging purposes, I will. It's bubbling quite a bit. It says six minutes for this kind of pasta. I'm gonna turn the water down a little bit so it doesn't boil over. But yeah, that's my, my shells cooking. I haven't had shells in forever. All right, I gotta get this broccoli on. Be right back. So I am done cooking my dinner. This is what it looks like. It doesn't look like a lot of food because I guess it's not, but it's enough for me. Little pepper on there, little Parmesan cheese. I'll show you a better view once I do this. I think it came out pretty well and it was fast. Wasn't six minutes, but it was fast. So this is my dinner. 
Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Let's try it. Not my favorite Alfredo sauce, but finding a good Alfredo sauce in the store, good luck. Twill do. Twill do. Plus, if you put enough of, like, the grated Parmesan cheese or whatever it is, yeah. It's fine. I was going to put some crushed red pepper on it, maybe. Spice up my life. Woo! Crazy Saturday night. I also put my coffee into this with some ice because I wasn't feeling the hot coffee because it's hot out. I was cooking. It was too hot. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy my dinner.